All right, and okay. All right, let's get things going. Um, can everyone, um, Greg and, and Mike, you can see the, the slides okay? Yes. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Okay. All right, great. Um, I know we still have some people uh, joining, but we're gonna get going here. So um, I just wanted to uh, welcome everyone. Um, I know we've got some folks from Love It Group and um, we've got a growing list of participants joining here from outside. So um, welcome to the uh, first of its kind webinar series, Seven Effective Ways to Step Up Your Insurance Agency Game. Uh, today's um, event is specifically about how to build a strong sales culture. Um, and I'm gonna flip here to the next slide. Um, really quickly, um, as you may have seen, um, this is really an end-to-end -end webinar series. We're talking about different ways to help um, improve um, being an agency owner. Um, you will see over the, the course of the series, if you do get to attend live, um, we'll also have the recordings available as well, um, that we have a variety of different things that will contribute to success in agency ownership. Um, hopefully you will walk away from the series today and any of the others that you attend in the future with some great tips, new insights, knowledge, and strategies. With that, I'm going to pass off to one of our speakers, Greg Simon. Excellent, good morning, everyone. Uh, great to be here and thanks, thank you, Heather, for, for putting this together. Um, my name is Greg Simon. I'm the Chief Development Officer with the Levitt Group. I'm here with uh, Mike Levitt, who is our Chief Sales Officer. And, and uh, wanted to just kick this off real quick and, and do a just a quick snapshot of the Levitt Group, where we sit right now, and this is this is changing quite a bit as we grow. But uh, as you can see, we're in we're in 27 states now, 170 locations, uh, with about uh, just, you know, over 312 million in uh, consolidated revenue, over 3 billion in uh, place premiums, and so uh, there, you know, there's um, obviously there's there's two ways that companies grow. Uh, one is through acquisition and the other is through uh, organic growth. And so today we're going to focus really on the organic growth uh, piece of this and to talk about a few strategies that we have. Mike, I'll turn the time over to Mike. All right. Thanks, Greg. Let's talk about uh, the three areas of focus that go into building a positive and, and robust sales culture. We've delineated it out into three different sections. One is uh, recognizing and rewarding. Second is locating and recruiting talent and then developing that, that production or sales talent. And then finally, number three is providing and then implementing cutting edge tools to our production team to make sure that we can compete at the highest level. So let's talk a little bit about recognizing and rewarding. And it's very uh, interesting as we focus on this first section or first strategy of how to build a, a strong sales culture. I'm just reading a book about basic human needs and, and at the core, what people want. And really, if there, there's a lot of things that human beings need in order to thrive, but two of the biggest ones are, are, are one, people want to be seen, and two, people want to be loved. Hello, I'm... And so really the, 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 those two principles being seen and loved are very applicable to our sales professionals and we, and we seek to do that. And, and, and so we look to uh, help our sales culture uh, be robust, uh, not, not only just to provide those two basic needs to help our producers feel both Hello. loved and uh, and, and, and recognized, but, but also just rec to, to, to know that we are in a very difficult and competitive environment. So we're just gonna provide a, an overview uh, through the video that shows how we do this. Hello, I'm Greg Suman, Chief Development Officer with Levitt Group. Sales are the lifeblood of a healthy brokerage and a strong sales culture is vital. Frequent recognition of our sales force has become a very important part of our culture. We believe in recognizing and rewarding producers for their accomplishments and meeting their strategic goals. As an example, our sales leaderboard powered by Microsoft Dynamics provides real-time sales results 24-7. This allows everyone in the organization to see 
and celebrate our sales successes we see on a daily basis. Each year, our top performing producers are rewarded and recognized along with their significant other with an extravagant and very well-planned five-star getaway. In addition to this amazing trip, we hold some very creative and fun sales competitions all throughout the year. All right, so we just touched upon some of the uh, different Hello. Uh, sales competitions or, or different, different ways we, we look to recognize our producers. Circles of excellence, right? We try to show uh, some love and recognition to those producers that are reading, reaching the top levels of our profession by sending them to uh, a, a trip uh, we call Circles of Excellence. Uh, we've been to Ireland, we've been to Costa Rica, and as a matter of fact, this week we are heading to Italy. So we're super excited about that. Sales leaderboards was referenced. We have sales leaderboards throughout our entire corporate uh, uh, suite of offices. And, and we do that for a, a variety of reasons. First of all, it sends a very powerful message to our corporate employees that we are here because of our salespeople. And when we have different carrier representatives coming into our offices, again, it shows a very powerful expression that at the heart of our organization, we are a sales organization. And of course, you can see on the slides, uh, some, some uh, pictures of circles of excellence uh, excursions that, that, that we have uh, been on. So um, some other things that we do is we have a uh, annual producer school where we take our producers um, to Cedar City uh, so they can uh, get a sense for um, our heritage, get a feel for our culture, and understand the greater Levitt universe at a very uh, deep level. And then again, start introducing them to core concepts tied to cutting edge tools uh, that we will have them use in, in, their, in their day to day. One of the things that we, uh, go ahead to the next slide if you would. Uh, we have various internal competitions that are tied to the Levitt Group. One is called The Surge, which is a cold calling competition uh, that is a web-based platform that our uh, Levitt Software Solutions team has built and developed. And it has morphed into a, a very uh, um, interesting and fun uh, experience where producers and agencies will, will actually have uh, competitions against each other. We will also have carrier surges where a carrier will sponsor a particular surge where we focus on a particular carrier's uh, area of focus. Um, and uh, it, it turns out that uh, these competitions help not only foster sales culture, but actually convert prospecting into actual uh, sales that we can quantify and, and, and monitor. The game is another uh, experience that we have that, that helps uh, recognize and reward our producers. We have carrier sponsors that will help fund this game experience where we have usually over 150 producers uh, divided into teams and they compete over a four month period and uh, jockey for a prize pot that's worth tens of thousands of dollars. Again, largely thanks to a carrier sponsor. Now it's important to note with these with these surges and these and and in the game that we have a commercial lines game where we have commercial lines producer participating in one, and then we have personal lines uh, games and competitions surges and also a personal lines uh, a practice group that focuses specifically on personal lines so we can make sure our personal lines professionals have the same type of experience but. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and take a look at the game, one of the uh, sales competitions that I was referencing. What's that? Box of chocolates? My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. Let's follow that producer! Hey! We talked about this! Don't open that thing up in the Millennial Falcon! Sorry, hon. Listen, these producers, they are animals. They will knock you into tomorrow, Rock! Look at Ron! He's out of control! Ron! I think I've got it! Lieutenant Dan! No more singing! Cut me, babe. But I did put it into the CRM! It was the last day of the month. 
at 5.05 p.m. No! Mike, it is an honor and a privilege to be here tonight to honor and recognize the best of the best. This has been a decade in the making. Game 10, Movie Edition, Awards Night. And we want to thank the 21 teams and 130 participants for their involvement in the Game 10. And we want to especially thank the executive producers of this wonderful event, Liberty Mutual and National General. And the winner is... The Hunt for Red October! Hi! Congratulations, The Hunt for Red October. Vladimir Chudorov, Matt Hadley, Phil Corley, Tony Murray, Eric Bowers, Jennifer Stewart, and Jake McGovern. Great job. That's us. Right on. Hunt for Red October. Yeah. Yes, sir. The Liberty Mutual Grand Prize, Derek Cowart, Nathan Hurst, and Nick Coppo. $700,000 of premium by these three great professionals alone. Congratulations, gentlemen. And finally, the award we've all been waiting for. The top film for individual performance. The nominees are Holly Hovland with $148,000 of agency revenue. Aaron Weenham, $153,000 of agency revenue. Carl the Hawk Hawkins, $158,000 of agency revenue. And Dallin Calloway, $160,000 in agency revenue. And the top performer in the individual film category is from Risk Services of Louisiana, Vlad Chimadorov, $299,000 in new business revenue. Vlad gets this huge check for $1,000 in addition to all of his other earnings. Vlad, congratulations. Here you go. Thank you very much for this large check, like everything in Texas. I appreciate everybody's support, and I'm very proud of RSL winning the Hunt for Red October contest. So anyway, that gives you a little bit of a flavor of the game competition. Again, it goes back down to that first strategy of recognizing and rewarding, making sure that producers are both seen and loved. Uh, Greg is going to talk a little bit about our second strategy, which is talent search and development. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. So you can see from those videos, we do like to have fun, make sales as fun as possible. We know it can be stressful. Um, something I wanted to mention before I jumped into this is that the, that the makeup of Lever Group agencies throughout the group are diverse in their size and location and uh, demographic. And because of the autonomy that uh, we give to each agency, the need for our self-support may vary like across the board uh, from agency to agency. So Mike and I are part of a team called um, the Levy Group Salesforce Development. And we provide central support uh, at various levels, again, depending on the agency and their needs. But our, our overreaching goal is to create a viable sales culture throughout the organization. And that's these things that we're talking about today. That's part of that, that strategy is to create that sales culture. So with that said, I, I wanted to jump into this real quick. Talent search and development. We have a quick video. Let's show that real quick. Producers are the lifeblood of our industry. Not only can a successful producer drive organic growth through building their own book, but they can become a valued leader who runs an agency and motivates sales teams. Recognizing the need for quality hires, the Talent Search and Development Department is focused on finding, selecting, and onboarding high-performing sales talent into the Levitt Group family of agencies. We utilize industry-leading resources in a systematic process to search and attract for the right candidates and to filter and select the very best for our agency co-owners to hire. The process revolves around identifying individuals who possess three basic traits. One, personal skill. Can the prospect connect to and relate with other people? 
Two, sales ability. Through past experience, has the prospect demonstrated that they can get in front of decision makers and close deals? And three, technical aptitude. Is the prospect smart enough to learn a complex product in a complex industry? We place a premium on these traits far above insurance experience. Awesome, yeah. So, so as it relates to uh, recruiting, we, you know, we have a talent search and development team that is responsible for about, uh, on, on different levels, but responsible for about 50% of the hires that we've made over the last few years. And what's, what's cool to see is that our retention, which is over between, usually hovers between 40, 45%, is much better than industry standard. And, and as that video mentions, we focus on sales talent first, and then we train on the technical side. And so that leads me to this next slide of a new producer pathway to validation. As we bring a new producer on board, we have a very structured plan that we introduce them to along with the, um, the co-owner of that agency. And that includes uh, what we call a 100 day plan where our team gets in and helps that producer, what is, what is going to happen over the next three or so months? What are you going to do? Who's gonna be your mentors? Uh, we talk about licensing. We talk about their pipeline, what they wanna focus on, um, their um, leads list, how their you know, lead generation. And then they start getting in, introduced to a lot of these tools. The vital, vital signs uh, is the platform that we have built internally so it is proprietary that where we insert a lot of these uh, tools and resources that we're going to talk about that will help that producer get off to a great start, build a strong foundation and be successful. And the last one there is called the Levitt Roadmap to Success. And that's a model that we use, five-step process that's a consultative model. It's a strategic model versus a producer calling up or going and visiting an account saying, or a prospective account and asking, hey, how can I quote your insurance? So it's not, we're getting away from commodity sales because everybody else, you just get in line with everybody else. So we wanna be different. Let's go to the next slide. So this is what that pathway looks like. And you can see it, it almost looks like a, one of those old uh, uh, board games that you'd see like Candyland. Then we call it kind of the Candyland model, but it's very simple. And as you can see up the top where you start, that's where there's, uh, you know, producers recruited, whether it comes in through our talent search and development team or it comes in through another uh, channel, uh, the way they get plugged into this model. Um, and again, we call this the pathway to validation. This is what the first year for that producer will look like. They know what to expect and what to prepare for. And ultimately, as you can see, and Mike touched on this, you can see the airplane down at the bottom. That's the circles trip. Um, you know, we have a criteria we set for new producers, a, a threshold for new uh, revenue, if they can write, you know, their first three years in the business, new in the business, that they can, they can uh, make that trip. And they are eligible each year to make that trip. And we have different venues. Uh, as Mike said, we're going to Italy. We've, we've done Ireland and, and uh, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico. I mean, there's, there's several. But uh, anyway, it's, it's an opportunity for them to be with the best of the best in the organization and learn and collaborate. And by the way, what Mike presented earlier with the game, awesome, awesome way for these uh, producers, uh, whether they're commercial lines, employee benefits or personal lines to collaborate with producers that they wouldn't otherwise even talk to. So they get put on these teams and they have these opportunities to, to shine there. This right here, uh, we usually assign mentors, the pathway to help them through, uh, but there's also peers uh, throughout the country, others that are kind of in the same boat that can, they can help each other uh, and consult with each other. Let's go to the next slide. So the last strategy here uh, is implementing and cutting, uh, implementing cutting edge tools. And you'll see right here, let's go to the video here. Go ahead we play. realize that ongoing prospecting is the key to success. We train our producers to be fanatical about their prospecting efforts. We can help to maximize these efforts and their effectiveness through the entire customer life cycle. 
we can help you in establishing various and effective means of prospecting through centers of influence, referrals, unique cold calling approaches, email drip marketing campaigns, and many more creative ways to build a robust pipeline of quality prospects. You will need the right tools to make this happen. And again, we can help. Some of our most powerful prospecting tools come from marketing automation, LinkedIn, the Levitt Risk Management Center, and various workers' compensation sales tools. Our CRM, or Customer Relationship Management System, powered by Microsoft Dynamics, helps producers and agencies set and track goals and to keep prospects very well organized. Excellent. Let's go to the next slide. So I'm going to touch on a few of these things that, that were mentioned here. Um, first, uh, I, I mentioned the Levitt Risk Management Center or the RMC, and that is simply a web-based tool uh, that is client-facing and it is Levitt branded. So it looks like it's coming from the Levitt group and it has eight unique uh, applications as it relates, relates to risk management. And it's loaded with thousands of training resources, HR resources at your fingertips. And so we have a team that's dedicated to this tool that helps clients. It's, it's a, uh, a prospective um, prospecting uh, tool and also a retention tool. Um, as it relates, again, as it relates to prospecting, we have a variety of uh, tools that integrate with Microsoft Dynamics, which is our um, CRM. And I'm gonna name a few of those here. We have uh, MyEdge, which MyEdge is a, again, is a robust, very robust prospecting tool that pulls from uh, 20, over 25 uh, government reporting agencies like uh, OSHA, as an example, very up to date. And so you can pull a lot of data on prospective clients with my zoom info uh, we call this an, an elite product it's it's up to date and accurate data with contact in, in information for decision makers it has some other um, embedded tools in there which are were super awesome but we have uh, several of our agencies using that um, eloqua drip marketing strategies those can be turned off and on with inside of microsoft dynamics so we have some existing campaigns, uh, for example, something related to cyber. Uh, we have uh, something related to workers comp developed already. But if you had a specific customized drip marketing campaign that you want to do, you could develop that with our, um, our media team, uh, media marketing team, and then have that, again, that is controlled within, inside of that CRM and inside of Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, service timeline. Service timeline is simply uh, if you, working with a client, a prospective client, you get their business, you set up a timeline as to what's going to be done to improve. As an example, workers' comp, how are you going to improve their losses over that first year? Who's going to do what? So it's got dates, people responsible, and, and it's an accountability tool. So that's another, that's another awesome tool that we use uh, to keep ourselves organized and again, to differentiate. The last two here, we have an, a, an advanced workers' compensation training program that focuses on uh, EMODs, experience modifiers, and NCCI worksheets. Basically, we train you on how to uh, take shortcuts and really uh, be able to interpret that worksheet, show the client that you have expertise and then tie it into the sales process and the, the strategic process, a consultative process. And then the last thing I had here was the North American, it's the uh, NICS codes, the North American Industry Classification System. And that's what federal agencies uh, use to classify businesses throughout the country and they use it to, to collect and sort data. So we use this, we've developed a tool where you can actually put in the code or the name of the business and you can pull up uh, throughout the organization, you can see which agencies writing certain classes of business, as an example, construction, electroplaters, machine shops. You can see who, where the expertise is, the volume, and you can see which carriers are writing that. So if you wanted to touch base and talk to somebody who had an expertise in a certain niche market, that is at your fingertips to search and find. So anyway, these are 
these are some core tools that we use throughout the group and that are found on our, again, on our training platform called Vital Signs. Let's go to the last slide here. So we wanted to wrap this up by showing you a video from one of our um, newer producers, uh, Joe Ellis. And um, Joe has been with us just over three years and he's gonna talk about um, the Levitt Group and sales culture. We wanted to thank you for, for joining us here today, but thought this was a great way to, uh, to end this webinar with, with uh, Joe's testimonial here. For me personally, I love the culture at Levitt Group and especially at my agency because it's genuine, it's authentic. The people that I work with, I feel like uh, not only they're experts, there's, there's professionalism there, um, but the way that we treat our clients and, and just the way that I'm treated um, in my job, not only from my boss, but from my peers. I've had many jobs before where it hasn't been this way. And quite honestly, it was a, it was a drag to get up, get out of bed and go to work every day. I actually look forward to going to work every single day. The other aspect that's really great about the job is, you know, there's a lot of autonomy here. If, if you know, if you're self-driven and self-motivated, you can set your own schedule. I can go to my, you know, my daughter's dance recitals and I can do whatever I want, essentially, um, while at the same time knowing I can, you know, I can make a good living for me and my family and I can, um, I can provide well and, and the sky's really the limit. So one of the biggest perks about the job is you do get evergreen commissions or you do get renewal commissions. So if I sign up a client year one, if I can maintain that relationship and continually provide them, you know, value added services, or if I can, you know, if I can make their their day to day a little bit easier and I can retain that relationship, I'm going to get paid on that account year after year after year. And, and that's truly how you can really grow a great book of business is Obviously, there's going to be some hard times and there's going to be some hard work, but at the end, if you can foster that and cultivate that, um, there's this, truly the sky is the limit because you continually get paid on your work that you've previously done. That's, these are some of the reasons why I've chose Levitt, and, um, and that coupled with the fact that you know, we're, we are one of the largest brokerages in the nation, and so uh, if there's solutions or if there's products that you need access to, there's many product experts within our group that you can reach out to, that you can get help from. Um, and uh, there's always going to be something that you can do or something that you can find. Um, and it's been, it's been a great ride for me so far. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so that concludes our webinar for today. But before we head out. Um, just wanted to remind um, you all of our upcoming webinars. Um, there's a lot of information here on the screen right now, but um, this is being shared out via email on our LinkedIn page. So definitely keep an eye open to register for the upcoming events. Um, our next one is Monday, um, Recruiting Producers to Grow My Agency with Brent Davis, our VP of Talent Development. So that should tie into some of the things that Greg and Mike talked about today. Um, and also as a reminder, um, we are gonna be sending out a survey um, after the event um, and along with the recorded, the, uh, recorded event from, um, from today, um, we'll be doing that for all of the upcoming webinars if you um, can, can attend or if you can't, we'll have those for you. Um, if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out to us um, through um, any of the ways here um, presented on the screen. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn if you haven't already. And that is it, unless anyone has any questions. Again, we had muted all the lines on, on the way in, but if you have a question and would like to ask Greg or Mike before you leave, please use the chat. So I will leave this open here for another minute. Um, otherwise, um, that is all for today. So thanks everyone for attending. Thanks, Mike and Greg. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. All right. Looks like we've, I'm going to, I'm going to stop it. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. All. Thanks, all right. I think that's it guys. So sure. we are good. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. I think that went well.